Here we are going to look at the beginnings of basic logarithms. Okay, so we have this um, conversion where we can rearrange a logarithmic equation in order to solve for it. And so here we use this so that you don't have to use your calculator to solve. You can solve these by hand. Just simply by knowing where the values go. So in this case, we know that this 3 down here is your base. And the 9 is what it should equal. So here we would then have 3 to some unknown value should give me 9 as a result. Well, we can fall back to the ideas we use with exponents, which would say that we want to rewrite 9 as 3 to a power. So in this case, we know that 9 is the same as 3 squared. So we have 3 to the x is equal to 3 squared. So what this means is that x equals 2. Let's look at it again. So again, we have that my 2 here is your base and the 1 fourth is what it equals. So in this case we would have 2 to the x is equal to 1 fourth. Again, just like before, we want to rewrite the 4 as 2 to a power. So in this case we would end up getting 2 to the x is equal to 1 over 2 squared. Here we would then apply the negative rule. And so in this case that would give us that we have 2 to the x is equal to 2 to the negative 2. And so that tells us that x equals negative 2. Last, again, the 8 is your base. So here this is going to tell me that you have 8 to the x equals 2. This time I want to rewrite the 8 as um, 2 to the power. So here 8 is the same as 2 cubed, so this would be 2 cubed to the x equals 2 to the first. So here we would go ahead and do our math, so we would have that 2 to the 3x is equal to 2 to the first. We're going to then solve that 3x equals 1 so x equals one third. Okay. So that's essentially what we're doing when we are looking at the very beginning or basics of your logarithm rules and being able to evaluate and solve your logs without using a calculator. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.